Welcome to KUAM News Extra. I'm Mindy Fothergill. Tonight, my guest is newly appointed acting police chief Paul Suba. Thank you so much for joining me in studio tonight. Now, you were recently appointed by Governor Felix Camacho as the top brass of the police department, taking over your predecessor, former chief, now Senator Frank Ishizaki. Let's talk about some of your goals as uh, the chief, now the top brass. Well, one of the things I'd like to say, first of all, is it's really exciting. It's an honor and a privilege that uh, I've been appointed uh, as the acting chief of police and uh, that already pretty much entails quite a bit of uh, the responsibility that uh, I know that the people of Guam expect and uh, the men and women of the Guam police desire of me. So in talking about goals, I, I really believe that it's a team effort in discovering what new goals we need to set for our future and not only this uh, police department in 2007 but beyond 2007 and uh, these goals are really related to what the people of Guam need expect and demand of us and in particular any specific goals that you have in mind um, during your time well the the thing that uh, was discussed that we definitely want to see uh, enhance enhancement to the pay scale the uh, development of uh, the accessibility to to pay increases but more to uh, recruit and retain officers that we have within the Guam Police Department okay now as an officer you've been on the force for what, more than 20 years <laughs> it's about 30 years uh, wow. this year going on 31 congratulations yes, thank you. well during that time you've three decades now you've been able to see uh, and identify the department's strengths and weaknesses what mm -hmm. do you think those are at this time well the strengths of the department uh, your Guam Police Department is the people within the department and they come from all walks of life but mainly they come from the people of Guam and the strength of those folks at uh, the Guam Police Department civilian and uniform alike is their spirit their uh, uniqueness to meet every challenge that they face mm -hmm. uh, we face great challenges uh, of course like after the disastrous uh, typhoons and and earthquakes and threats of anthrax and you name it uh, things uh, particularly after 9-11 they are encouraged by the idea that they're serving their people in this community and their families and so uh, with the the training that they're afforded they're able to use that to uh, accomplish the challenges that they face they look forward to uh, improving of course our resources and our capabilities because we're the most frustrated and critical of ourselves and um, sometimes we have to remember that we can't do everything and although they really love to help uh, in, in beyond the areas that we've already set in the past uh, do, do you think that there's any certain or specific weaknesses that the department has at this time well, whether it be from manpower shortages yes. to resources um, Chief Ishizaki at the time working together with the governor's office and the legislature and the staff, the men and women of the Guam Police Department and community members, partners in progress, worked very hard to address that. Uh, a lot of it was accomplished. We were able to promote a number of officers and, uh, and we're working on civilian promotions. However, we have to face the reality that we didn't uh, reach that goal of right-sizing the department and uh, so we're working on that from the uh, area of um, the qualifications minimum qualifications and recruitment and then also retention as I mentioned so we understand in the Guam Police Department that there is a uh, situation with uh, the projections for the future as far as the economy so we're striving to streamline and uh, eliminate processes that would cost the government the department uh, extra money so that then we can move those funds to where we need it to uh, help the officers and uh, with regards to their pay. Now in your new role, what do you see as the biggest challenge as being the leader of the Guam Police Department? I mean, I know today we were talking a little bit before the show, it mm -hmm. was a trying day for you. Um, oh, but yes. This is just the beginning uh, of, you know, months more, years more uh, as the leader of the police department. What mm -hmm. do you see as your biggest challenge? The biggest challenge is ensuring that our officers are, are one, um, afforded all the uh, training and equipment that they need, the pay that they deserve, uh, to make sure that the stress levels that they have to endure are, are minimized because the shortage as we uh, face it today 
has a, a very powerful toll on these individuals. I know the community understands and we as their leaders understand that they're human beings and uh, they go a lot longer than our patrol cars do and those equipments uh, that, that we have that break down. Mm -hmm. And so we have to be sensitive to, to that issue, that they are human beings and, and they're not just flesh and blood. They have a spirit, a body, a soul, and a mind. And we have to look at the total person. And so we're making strides as, um, as a group to uh, address one, of course, you, you, we discussed the other day, the health issues because without being healthy, uh, we can't take care of the rest of the person. Mm -hmm. And so we're looking at uh, bringing in experts to assist us in that. And we've had uh, a lot of calls since uh, your uh, televised uh, uh, program about what we're hoping to do. And so we appreciate that because this is the Guam Police Department, the department that belongs to the people of Guam. Mm -hmm. And so we, uh, we encourage that. And uh, I think that will help us. Good, good. Well, of course, I'm sure you guys are looking forward to much more community involvement. Don't go away. It's time for a short break, but we still got more.